Hello everyone, this is Low Budget Pokemon. Today I want to talk about a certain set of cards that I think are really great pickups. I think they're currently flying under the radar and I think it has a lot of room for growth in the future. So I'm going to turn this camera around to show you the cards I'm talking about. <clears throat> and these are really the Pokemon centered stamped promo cards and they have to be sealed. Okay, so these are the cards. These are the promo cards that you get in the Pokemon Center ETB. You can only buy them um, at the PokemonCenter.com uh, and it's the Pokemon Center specific ETB. They sell the regular ETBs at Target, Walmart, GameStop, what have you, but <clears throat> they only have this promo in it, <clears throat> but they don't have the Pokemon Center stamp. So you can see these are the two cards. Um, in the Pokemon Center ETB, you actually get both of these copies, but in the regular ETB that you find at your local GameStop, for example, don't have the Pokemon Center stamp. So I, my, my prediction here is that these cards that have the Pokemon Center stamp, these are essentially like the first edition stamps, right? Like these are limited edition. Um, I mean, they can easily reprint these, but uh, from what I've seen in the Scarlet Violet, um, Sword and Shield, even the Pokemon Center ETBs, they typically stock them once you get the pre-order in. They stock them once, maybe twice and they sell out. They sell out and then they're gone, right? And if you think about it, right, there's a lot of sealed collectors out there today. So they buy up the ETBs, they keep them sealed. Some ETBs will never get opened. Some ETBs, they get opened, people buy them, they open them, and uh, they open the cards, right? So these, 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 these are sealed, right? These are, um, they come in kind of some kind of wrapper. So some people like to grade cards. So they buy a bunch of ETBs, they open them, and um, they open the seal, and then they ship this off for grading, right? Some of them get nines, some of them get tens. If they get tens, then they hit jackpot. And some of these, some people, they just cut, up, cut them open because they don't like the seal, and they just keep this card as is in their collection, right? A binder collection, if you will. So the amount of sealed cards that are stamped are actually, in my opinion, quite low, somewhat low. It's not, it's not like, you know, a lot, right? So um, there is some rarity to this. It has to be sealed. And if you look on eBay, other marketplaces, the sealed cards go for a higher premium than the unsealed cards of the same one. So um, point of this video is, I think that the sealed Pokemon Center stamped promos, full art promos from the ETBs are gonna be great investments. Um, so I picked up one, so the Charmander, I think these are about 70 bucks as of um, just today is what, October 11, right? 2004, 2024, so we'll see if that prediction comes true, see if these cards skyrocket. And what I've been doing is basically been picking up um, these Pokemon Center and the non-Pokemon Center stamped promos sealed. Right, so you can see here, that's from the Obsidian Flames ETB, out of print, you can't buy them anymore. This is the Snorlax with the Pokemon Center stamp. I never, I actually have a um, couple of ETBs from the Pokemon Center sealed that I haven't opened, don't plan on opening them, but I also have three here that are not non-stamped. So I'm gonna try to pick up more of these uh, Snorlaxes and Charmanders at a good price. So the Mimikyu, I, I think is a great, um, it's a great card. So this is from Paldean Fates. So again, Pokemon Center. I have a little bit more of these. These are a little bit more affordable. I think these are about 14 bucks um, as of today. So I basically have five of these um, and also five of these unstamped, right? So the seller was gracious enough to give me five of these unstamped and stamped. So that's the Mimikyu. There's the Petrant, also sealed with the Pokemon Center stamp, non-Pokemon Center stamp. And finally, we come to the Pikachus. And actually, I don't have um, these Pikachu cards. So these are all, three of them are, uh, have the Pokemon Center stamp. I actually don't have any in English that are sealed and um, you know have that Pokemon Center stamp. So this is from Paldea Evolved, also an ETP that's currently out of print. I think you can't go wrong um, buying the Pikachus. And finally, we have the um, Scarlet and Violet base. I think this is the Violet ETB from Pokemon Center. Again, with the Pokemon Center stamped the Maraidon, also sealed. 
speaking of sealed, um, if we go over to like the Pokemon, there's other there's other really good, interesting um, uh, sealed products that you can be on the lookout for, right? So for example, GameStop. GameStop for a while they they had these uh, they had these Umbreons. Oops, that's not. They had these Umbreons, right? The Umbreon GameStop sealed promos. I think these are all um, these are about like ten ten dollars, so they're fairly affordable. Um, so you can pick them up. Again, I think pretty good long-term holds. Here's one of some of the OGs from Pokemon Center. Again, seals to so those special delivery Pikachu, special delivery Charizard. These are relatively affordable. The Badoof, special delivery Badoof uh, that was released for um, Badoof Day. I think that runs you about maybe $200, right? So again, um, these are all, again, sealed Pokemon Center uh, promos here. Um, another one I want to touch on are the Charmanders. So the Charmanders, I have, I had a lot more at one point, um, but here you can have five, I have five sealed Charmanders. These are fairly, these are going, at one point these were selling for $9. I remember these were selling for $9 and um, sealed when they first came out. But then I think as of today, they're, they're about 50 bucks. So they're going for about 50 bucks again. The sealed versions uh, are worth a little bit more than the unsealed versions. So these are also great pickups. I had a lot of these at one point in time. Again, the Bulbasaur, you guys know this one's from Best Buy. Uh, I had the Squirtle as well, um, but that one for now I've actually sold. So th there's quite a bit of uh, really good uh, promos from the Pokemon Center. Obviously the Gravetail hat, so these were uh, pretty infamous, you know, for for being scalped. I only have two copies. Both of them are sealed. I don't have any graded. Um, actually, at one point I had three, but these are just really classic cards, right? These are, I mean, this is an instant classic. I was at Collecticon Atlanta a couple weeks ago. You would think that, you know, they printed this out the wazoo, 15,000 PSA 10s, PSA 9s, or something like that. I didn't see a single one. I didn't see a single... PSA graded copy, any BGS copies, I didn't see any sealed copies. These are actually a, quite a fan favorite, holding its value, I think around a hundred bucks, right? So I think there you have it. I, I do have a little bit more, but um, I just really wanted to highlight the fact that these Pokemon Center uh, promos, full art promos from the Pokemon Center ETB, I think, you know, it's okay if you don't buy the ETB, right? Um, but I think, um, th these cards, the stamped promos are definitely a must buy, must buy investment for the long haul. All right, if you guys enjoy this video and like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to this channel and uh, it will help us out immensely. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.